Peter is cosy at home in his burrow. The air is crisp and the day is bright as winter's grip on the world is fading and life begins to flood the meadows and forests once more. The outside is calling and Peter is hungry and the clock is ticking the day away so he sets off and leaves on an adventure.
Peter's run headlong into a towering tree. As he looks up, a dark forest towers over him. Even the sun's heat seems to retreat from these tall trees. The forest extends all about in front of him dense with thick trunks and filled with woody undergrowth. Peter looks about, hoping there will be something to eat in the forest. Some berries? Or maybe a carrot growing in the ground? or even some radishes. Peter loves radishes. His stomach rumbling, Peter walks on, determined to find something to eat. The trees pass around him as he moves into the forest, and under his feet, the mud squelches. Deeper and deeper into the dark forest he marches, looking for his lunch. He moves through the weeds and sticks, hoping to find a morsel to eat. Is there something over here? No? Hmm. Or maybe over there? Still nothing.
Peter walks and walks and the forest darkens and thickens. The bird song seems to fade with the light and insect noises crowd around from all sides. As the light dims, so too does Peter's bravery. Feeling around in the dark, with his stomach growling, Peter finds himself lost and quite alone deep in the woods. He looks around, but can't find a way out anywhere. Oh no, Peter is panicking. He's so hungry. And now he's lost. will he find his way home out of this forest? Peter runs this way and that. Maybe the exit will be here. No? Then maybe the other way. Poor Peter. Every path seems to lead deeper into the woods. As he became more and more panicked, he started running faster and faster. Peter gets more and more flustered. Until he collapses in a heap. He closes his eyes tightly. In his panicked state, Bright lights popped in and out of focus. And colors played out before his closed eyelids. As he lay where he fell, his frightful day rewound in his mind. 
he thought back over his journey on the paths he took and the accompanying sights and sounds. He finds himself lying next to a patch of dandelions. The flowers around him seem to sway and dance. Flowers of spring have come out, and with their vibrant colours, they've brought hope. With hope, the forest transforms. It is no longer a place of fear and despair, but teems with life and potential. And with that potential comes food. Wild berries and vegetables of all kinds. After gorging himself on the prize of his search, Peter sits and watches the forest and its life. Birds flit in and out of trees. Fish dart to and fro in the lake. Ducks waddle confidently through the mud. Spring has transformed this forest and robbed the dark of its power and fright. Instead, Flowers cover the ground, and life and hope abound. When Peter looks up, he can even see the blue sky through the trees. With Peter's new perspective, the pass opens and he finds his way out of the forest and back to his burrow. Exhausted and full, Peter lies down and dreams. En hiver, 
il les vit en jardin tranquille, en jardin rêvant de printemps. Et le voix qui chantait en autrefois avec le vent. Au-dessus des nuages gris en se clan. Et donc des doux flocons de pluie préservés. Un jardin s'enroule en forme serrée. Pendant la sécheresse, des lumières lumineuses. Et les profondeurs des libérations primordiales. Un jardin tombe dans une pensée vigoureuse. Ce qu'elle te cultivons nous, de quel te venons-nous? Ces graines transportées ici, ton voisin ou de loin. Ces graines faussées ici par des mains invisibles. Expédiées et achetées de la terre autrefois trempée de son. Vers les prairies préservées nouvellement louées. Avec des histoires riches, des fers rouges et laiteux. Et ici, nous devons grandir. Et ici, nous pourrions grandir. Avec le reflou et le flou, des eaux et des marées. Dans cette rivière souterraine tortueuse. Cette toile des voies terrestres. Augmentée et diminuée. Avec chaque loup se lève. De la vie à la poussière au fumier, pour nourrir la vie. Organiser cette soirée éternelle aux invités qui vivent des morts. Vénus René. De ces sombres accueils sur le rivage. Les tours rythmiques tournent. Et ici arrivent les rayons de l'aube, appelant le chat de printemps. Un jardin qui rêvait de printemps. Une fois tombé, dans des drapes de sommeil. Fossilisé, pétrifié, se réveille sous les tuffements que veux-tu d'eau. Un jardin qui rêve de printemps, à les bras ouverts pour les gens. Le nouvel. Ceux qui réussiront et ceux qui ne réussiront pas. Sautant du sol, petit droit vert, petit bras vert. Oscillaire et danser avec une lumière vive. Une petite reine solitaire fait un jour tourner dans une forêt forte de dix mille, dix mille intrépides, un jardin de voix dans le vent. 